Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mucklelover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as Japan. Now, we're not where we left off last time. That's because OBS crashed when I was trying to record about seven years worth of stuff. So right now, you can see Russia's not having a good time with Germany. And what have I been up to since I left you last? Well, I went to war with China, and I took Eastern Hubei, and the real province that we really wanted, of Suzhou. Suzhou. So I took that. Right now, we're at war with Russia. I went to war with... Actually, no. Let's see. I want my cores. Russian Hokkaido, which is really Japanese, as well as Sakhalin Islands, which would be good. But the Ottomans also wanted Bosnia. So they'll probably get Bosnia. Uh, we pretty much have an absolute victory over them, which is great. I'm third in the world. We have... I'm number one for military power, mostly because of my ships. Because I have a few capital ships that I want to make more. But, yeah, we're beating the crap out of the Russians, and I want to see if I can get any more stuff off of them. Even though we don't have a lot of infamy to work around with. If I want to place in the sun, it's going to cost us 10 infamy. Uh, and other stuff. 11 infamy. Let's not do that. But, yeah. There's not really a lot that happened between the end of the last episode and now, except we went to war with China. And I've been able to get the potential to unlock the invention for tanks, I think. I think I did. We could liberate a country. Nah, that costs too much stuff. Humiliate. That costs... Oh, that's not much. Humiliate their prestige. Um, well, I can't do that anyways. I think I need more jingoism, so it doesn't really matter. But we have all this taken care of, Russian China. And right now, our guys are heading over to Port Arthur. At least they should be. Hopefully. And there is a Russian army up here, which is a little concerning. And... Yeah, a little concerning. You know what? I'm going to do that. We're going to have to defend ourselves a little bit better than that. Oh, and it's one speed. Let's bring it up a little bit more. Uh, our military is looking pretty good. I've made a couple more dreadnoughts. We've got 88,000 people here. Mm, everyone come there. You guys just kind of stay where you're at, just in case. Uh, I don't want to pull this army off of Korea or out of Korea just because it's probably not a good idea. Because there's been a lot of rebels organizing in Korea. Maybe we don't necessarily want them to win. Okay, so Montenegro. Support the movement of organic work. Organic work developed in occupied Poland, largely as a response to attempts to suppressing Polish national identity and culture undertaken by Prussian and Russian authorities. Philosophy stated in essence that productive work, rather than revolution uprising, was the key to developing a national consciousness and ultimately the way to peaceful strive for national liber liberation. As in Poland, so also in Djibouti. No. What type of work could you produce that we would really want from Djibouti? Support the movement. More consciousness, lose militancy. Let it run its course. Uh, uh, I'll support the movement for more output for now. Montenegro wants to peace out. Sure. I mean, what, what is Montenegro going to do to us? Um, I want to say no. Can we get, I, I, I'm going to say no for now, just because it, even though we could accept it, I want the Russians to get just destroyed. If we destroy them hard enough right now... Because they're fighting us, the Americans, Germany, the UK, the Ottomans, and basically Romania. The two countries of Romania. Um, basically, we'll destroy them so hard, they might not be able to recover from this. And it'll just be easy pickings. They'll be in so many civil wars and stuff like that. That'll be a lot of fun. Alright, kill them off here. Oh, we might not be able to. Ooh, we're probably going to lose a lot of guys here. A thousand a day they've lost. A couple stuff. Ooh. Culture stuff. Industry. Market regulations, naval stuff. Ooh, modern naval doctrine. Nice, more attack. I like it. Great, we lost an even amount, which actually isn't bad if we're, you know, mostly on the attack here. Serbia. They're merely negotiating for themselves. Sure. Oh, well, the Ottomans are a little stronger. Um, let it go on just for a few more days. Oh, oh yeah, at this point, Russia's pretty much beaten. Anti-minority agitation. Uh, go ahead and piece them out. Nice. We whacked the Russians hard there. So the Japanese fascist party, which sounds interesting, has embarked on a political propaganda campaign. If you had to know, fascism has been unlocked. So, denouncing everything that they consider to be foreign influences on Japan, particularly targeting minorities and immigrants. The party campaign appeals to Japanese xenophobia and agitates Soto Volce for the expulsion of these immigrants from the Japanese state. Several leading intellectuals have denounced the campaign as inflammatory and expressed support for our national minorities. Denounce the campaign, which some people become more fascist and in favor of residency, express tacit support for the campaign. 
go ahead and announce it. It's a no-win situation, it seems like. Besides, Japan is only 26% Japanese. There's quite literally 50, almost 50% of our population is Chinese. Almost half of our population is Chinese, so... It is what it is. I mean, we could go fascist if we really wanted to. I'm not sure if we really want to, though, so... And, honest, and actually, right now, I'm sort of waiting for, like, a great war. Because fighting Russia, it was it was a one-sided war. There was, like, it was okay. Oh, we did get our islands up. That's great. But I really need a great war to be able to take a lot of territory off of uh, the Russians. I need to take a lot of territory. And we can make so many more uh, guys now. We won the occupation of Port Arthur. Great. And they've de started to demobilize ports. You have no ports up here, man. Level 2 port. What the heck? And then do that. Actually, Hokkaido. Oh, this was Russian Hokkaido, but there's still a lot of Japanese people here. Here, can people assimilate? Oh, yeah, they're going to assimilate. We're going to get more Japanese people here. Assimilation. I love it. Yes. Now, we have a crisis here, and I backed my... Well, it's not really my puppet. It's my sphere, the... Ottoman Empire, which is still alive in an 11th place. So, Italy has decided to back them. The Germany will probably help us out. The UK doesn't like us. France? Yeah, France. Oh, Spain is probably going to help them out. Oh, that's not good. Uh, that's not good. They want Western Macedonia to cut Japan down to size. Hmm. Acquire core? Oh, yeah. Let's piss them off. And it doesn't cost us anything. Get the French on our side, even though that's okay. Oh, man, that's not good. So we have to fight the Italians, the Greeks, the British, the Russians, again, which means probably nothing, honestly, at this point, um, and the Spanish, which actually, hold on. So let's look at the great powers. Spain is a great power. Not by much. We are literally the number one power in the world. Germany's military has gone down by quite a bit. They don't have a navy. The Russian army, though, is probably honestly not that great. The British army is pretty strong. The American army is probably... They have a lot of spheres. Holy cow. Hmm. Now, Italy. Italy. We like you, man. Actually, are, are you my ally? No, we're not. We're not allies. Sorry. Oh, we got Germany on our side. Can They're really strongly inclined to support them, which isn't good. Well, I guess we wanted a great war. And they're still 7th for military. That's kind of interesting, even though we kind of bushwhacked them a little hard in that previous war. Protected by five nations. We could... Actually, you know what? Could they acquire the state of anything? No. Could they humiliate anybody? No. Russia. We just beat the crap out of you. Would you want anything from them? Probably not. Take from Sphere. Greece. No. Propose a solution. They would not accept. Yep, looks like we might go to war them. Oh well. It is what it is. So if that's the case, we're going to be fighting the Italians, which is fine. The British and the Spanish. And the... This is weird. Germany and France are on the same side here. Me, Germany, France. Versus France. Versus Italy. Russia. Spain. This is going to be kind of contentious. So at least these two... They're allied. Russia probably honestly won't be a problem. Italy will be a little bit of an issue, especially down here. But actually, how strong is the French military? It's it's eight in the world. That's that's not great. I'm really counting on these guys, though. If that's the case, we're gonna go to war with the, these guys. So leave it, the navy right there. We're gonna be heading back into there, heading back into Asia, and I've been trying to build up some of my ships to have dreadnoughts. We have dreadnoughts protected by screens and transports. If this is the case. <clears throat> We must be, uh, be immediately ready to go to war. I'm sending you back up north. You're coming to Hanoi. Send one army down here. Uh, don't come up to Hanoi. Actually, we need both of you to come this way. I'm going to send an army from China as well down here. Because we're going to take out those islands. Take out these islands. Go to war with the Spanish. I'm probably going to invade the Philippines. Yeah. War will break out in 130 days. Colonial incident. Uh, don't piss off the British. No, actually, we should have pissed them off a little bit more. Yeah, you're not cutting me down to size. Are you kidding me? Yeah, hell no. 99 days. Offer peace terms. Cut Japan down to size. I'm not losing prestige, boy. I'm not losing it. 
Sympathy strikes. More socialists. All pops. Yeah. Oh, democracy. Yeah, that's true. I don't think they mobilize. They're still 7th in the world. Germany... Come on, man. You gotta get more military power that way. Spain won't be too much of an issue, hopefully. They're still allied. Huh. Oh, Spain. Oh, God. They're gonna kill off a lot of my colonies down here, then. Hmm. 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 I about any divisions up here or brigades? Oh, we do have a navy up here. That'll be interesting to see what happens with these guys. If that's a case. I'm gonna actually go ahead and pull you down. Orissa, so be it. Nice. Go ahead and get on the ships. We're going to go to Colonial Spain. Oops, what was that? Uh, Russian communists. Get ready to invade. The Pontonatic Patrimony. Patrimony. Nice. Well, I mean, you want this war, Italy? Really? I guess you're going to get it. Stock market report. Very good. Actually, how strong is the Italian military? It is ranked 5. How unfortunate. They never sent me peace terms, so okay then. Seems like a lot of Spaniards and Brits are going to have to die then. Ooh, I'm going to send you guys down over here. Oh, there's a British Navy. All right. Australia is honored, Manchuria is honored, so is Persia and America. We have America, and the Great War has spawned in this episode. The Third Great War. Alright, you know what, so be it. You want war so badly, you're going to get a war that you will not be able to win, hopefully. Let's see, send you guys down here as well. That'd be good. And we are good to go. Send the men on the boats. Invade Malaya. Invade Russia, again. Because I did that earlier too, actually. And the episode that should have been recording, but OBS decided not to work. Oh well. Good. Send them in, send them in, send them in, send them in. I already beat them in Russian China, so that'll be good. And actually, we're finally in a great war, which is good for us. So we can actually take some territory for all these guys. I'm going to leave 30,000 people here just in case for rebels. I'm going to let you guys sail up here and probably deploy you to take out whoever's up here. We need a leader for this guy. Oh, we're at war with Spain. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take Malay out first. And we do have four armies in the home island, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Oh! Hello! Oh, a naval battle! Look at that. I want to really keep an eye on this. What's going on? Oh, Manchuria has joined, which is great. Uh, cool. So, let's see. They have four heavy ships, four battleships. I have four dreadnoughts. They have four light ships, four cruisers, and I have ten. They have six transports. I have twenty. We're probably going to win, especially with this dice roll here. Religion, atheism. No, we want moralism. Automobile factory. Good. Let's pause. Let's see what happens. I have lost a... Oh, God, I'm losing transports. Oh, they got a better dash roll than me right now. Oh, I'm sinking their stuff. They're sinking my stuff, too. Oh, this is, this is really weird. Oh, they're losing organization. Good, we just blew up a capital ship. Come on. Oh, I lost the Battle of Mo... Oh, that makes sense. Mogadishu isn't really super important. 73... Oh, my God, that's a lot of guys. Come this way, then. And we won the battle. We lost six ships, they lost six ships, we lost six transports, they lost a capital ship, which is good. Go ahead and heal up for now. Good. Oh, yeah. Run away, you pieces of garbage. Uh, they started mobilizing. Good. That was actually really cool. Our navy isn't perfect, but it can be better. Come there, come there, come there, come there. Manchuria is taking Port Arthur. Great. You guys come up there, and then you all come right here. If you can. Or right there. That's pretty good. Unless they're moving. Oh, they're moving that way. Don't come that way there, then. Uh, come over here. And we're down here. To Singapore. Alright, so far, we have only 1%. Oh, they actually have a bigger army than us. That's fine. Whatever. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I want you out here. Uh, it's going to be one hell of a war. Oh, yeah. Persia's is all in the war. They can come up this way. That's great. Germany. Well, it looks like you already took something from them. 
Oh, look at Germany. Yeah, this is what I was expecting. We're going to probably piece out the Russians first. And then... Oh, Italy's down here too. Oh, that's not good for these guys. Oh, Germany's not going to have a good time. If I could piece out the Russians first, maybe. That'd be probably for the best. Cool. And we have the Manchurians over here. Go ahead and move in here. we got to kill them off. Good. I'm going to have to send another group down to... Uh, Africa. Very good. Uh, you look all healed up. Great. Get involved. Oh, there's some British soldiers. Good. We got that. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of Brits. Italians. Well, we're not doing great over there. Yeah, we definitely want to piece Russia out first. Doing okay ish right here. Oh, got the extra guys. Make sure he's doing a great job. Forgot about you guys. Great. We lost more men, but that's okay. You both come down here and deal with this menace down here. Tensions dissipate. Great. How is this part of Asia looking? Awesome. Send you guys down here just in case there's rebellions. Do that same thing down there. Do there. Send 60,000 more men. Good. I'm immediately going to send them to uh, Africa. Because that's a big group we can't really deal with right now. Stock market crash. Come down there. That's good. Uh, rebels in Persia. That's not good. Whatever. Katif. Actually, come to Kuwait. Follow that British army. I really doubt we'll be able to piece them out independently. Yeah, it's not going well for us so far. Oh, look, we sunk a couple ships here. Great. Alright. Some Russian boys. Let's see. Good. This part is looking really awesome. I'm going to send these guys to Russia, though. Yeah, you guys going to way high. I need more navies. Get some there. Good. And you come there. Alright, let's get involved with the British. This is probably a bad idea. Oh, hold on. Oh, they landed. That's good. Army-wise, we've done everything that we can. Infantry, anything here? Money? Sure. Yeah. Suffragette hunger strikes? Nah. Good. Destroy the British army there. The Ottomans are doing well in colonials. Area here. Eight. Moralism. Yeah, why not? Alright, let's get down here. Let's get to work. Cool, cool, cool. Navy wise. Let's see what we can do around here. Leave you guys over there, you're doing well. You guys are just kind of hanging out. Supply really sucks down here, whatever. Get some guys around here. Dig deep and greedily. This is probably a few too many guys. Got 5,000 right there. Nice. There are a lot of Italian boys. Yeah, the goal of... Oh, at least France is doing okay-ish. Well, there's a lot of British boys around there. We really need to piece out the Russians first. Yeah. Uh, we can't really negotiate for peace and crisis war. Italy. Italy's got to die. I am not giving up against these stupid Italians. There's no way I'm going to give in to these Italian boys. Alright, so those guys are good. I'm going to need transport armies from here. Let's see, 60,000. Get down here. Get moving. Ottoman Empire. It just looks bad right now. Once Russia's taken care of, France will be fine. Italy will capitulate, because Germany just Germany just sent most of its army to Russia, and the Russians can't hold up. Now the French can't hold up either, but you know what? That's that's okay. That's okay. Let's see. Oh look, you want to pull a sneaky? I think that's okay. Good. Blockade them. They get no supplies in, and we have just killed 
How many guys? Oh, I guess we didn't get to see. That's okay. Come here. There. Come to there. War score wise, minus 60%. It's only just because of the battles are so bad. Uh, war subsidies. You know what? I will offer you war subsidies. Do the Ottomans, uh, do the Germans, do you need war subsidies? That's a lot of money every day. Oh god, what's going on in Germany? They became socialists. That's not good for your army, though. Hmm, they're not winning there. Unfortunate. How's America doing, actually? Uh, America, could you send some of your armies over? That would be, uh, really great. Since we're struggling a little bit in France. Yeah, America, what you doing, man? What you doing? Hmm, anything else here? Market regulations. Tax efficiency. Doesn't really matter too much for that. Come on, we want to piece, piece out the Russians. Get up there. Russia's just so big to take out, though. Go ahead and do that. That's fine. Rebels is exactly why I sent these guys. Keep these, kept these guys here. Send you guys now to... Uh, maybe we could go over here. Come to India, maybe. Or at least Siam, or whatever this part is. Good. Let you guys come up here. I want you to deal with any sort of... Oh. What's going on here? Oh, they have more capital ships than us. That's not good. We do have more screens. We won the battle. Nice. Um, Go ahead and heal for now. It says they've got more capital ships, but I'm not really sure. Help blockade them. Good. Blew up that ship. Easily blew it up. Give me just one month to repair these guys. 32 ships. That's a, that's a lot of ships, not gonna lie. Naval-wise, the Ottoman Empire. Ottoman Empire, where are you? Thank you. Alright, we got an extra army down here. Great. We're sending you... to Africa. Yeah, the Ottomans are not looking good up there. Neither is France. God, I want to capitulate the Russians so badly. How do they white piece out, though? I want to know how, how they can do that. Let's see. You guys are sent. That's good. Looking good. Honestly, I'm probably the only country that's in this war that's doing pretty flippin' awesome so far. Let's see. We got some guys moving marching. Just gonna stay there. Go ahead and siege that down. Very nice. Help them out. And how are the, how's this doing? How's this going? Good. Going to Mogadishu. Hang out. Chill out. You know, good stuff. Oh, more ships. Great. Head on out. Get in the back. Get in there. Part of Italy has been blockaded. Good. This is disgusting. Excellent. Help you the poor. Back down here. I really want to send armies to Europe, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, more tax efficiency. Acquire Provence? Acquire... Wait, hold on. Hell no. Do you not... Do they not realize that Russia is going to be de dead here soon? Sure. France is pretty much dead already. Hell no. I ain't giving up yet. No way. No, 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 no. Once the Germans are done with the Russians, it's over for you, man. It's it's more than over for you. Over here. I should probably be paying a little bit more attention over here, even though this place doesn't really matter too much for score. But, yeah, whatever. Oh, we might not be able to win there. We're going to need another army for this group. Oh, I'm going to pull you over here, then. Kind of hold on for now. Purge is doing a great job. The Germans are doing a great job. No one cares about the French, like I said before. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? You guys can hang out in Bea. Awesome. How is the Navy doing? Doing great. Kind of helping them out. Blockading the, the Greeks. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Help them out down here. Keep taking more stuff. And we are down here. Let's 
what's going on. You guys headed to Chita, Arutsk. You know what? Help him out. Go up that way too. Very good, very good. Oh, the British Army, they're losing a little bit more now. That's good, that's good. We just crushed them there, go there, then do that. This is why I'm not giving up the war yet. And no, 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 it might not look good for France, but then again, France isn't a strong ally, and that's why I never allied them. Uh, looking pretty good, we can get quite a bit more of a navy. Let's get five more dreadnoughts. Oh, oh, oh we got a level six naval bases? Oh, cool, I forgot about that. Let's see, Mori. Very awesome. Good. Tons of more naval bases. All right, so let's build them up. This is gonna take time, so give me like three. Nice. And then two more. And then five, five, and just a ton of steel steamers. Ten days and make them nice, because this is good for screenings. Yeah, let's see what's going on. We've been attacked. Oh boy. Oh, they attacked us. Oh god, yes, that's that's awesome. That's great. Yeah, do it more. All right, what's going on down here? Keep forgetting about Africa, Kenya. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. That's some good stuff, man. Good, you're moving up. Good to get this. Siberia really, really sucks. Except the loss. We just killed off so many British boys there. Get a Tripoli, that'd be good. Keep blockading southern Italy. Oh yeah, this is just, oh, this is really bad. Oof. But look at Russia. Look at Russia. We've almost met in the middle of Russia. Factory cost. Good. Keep the industry going. We have more than enough money for now. Oh. And this is not good. We're not gonna have the same Oh boy, that's not that's really not good. I need you to come here immediately. They're losing thousands by the day, which is good. Just don't lose the capital. We've we've done this before. Just don't lose the flippin' capital. Let you guys. Oh, there's they're the, How many fascists are in the army? <laughs> of course then again, how many communists are in the army too? Or Jacobins or Things like that. We're still losing, but we haven't like lost any men. We just killed off 50. Oh my god. I want to see the, the war score from this. Oh, I just clicked on it. God dang it. There's too many things going on at the same time. We'll be fine. Just don't leave. We got plenty enough armies down here to do whatever we need to do, so. I'm not worried about that whatsoever. So, next up. Anything for the army? It's 1917. This is one hell of a great war. Because even though it looks really bad. Oh god, the armies are just getting smashed. Oh, wait, no. Wait, hold on. I read this wrong. We're doing actually extremely well. So they're negative 71%, which is amazing, which means that... Oh, look at the Russian Empire. They're 12th in the world. I was reading this completely wrong. Germany wants that. Oh, wait, they wanted to peace out earlier. Oh, hell no. I'm going to take stuff out, out of this group that they will never be able to recover from. Let's see. Because it's a great war, we can probably take stuff for less infamy. Oh, yes. Oh god, I've been saving my infamy up for a while now. Mmm, this is going to be tasty. This is going to be great. Now, what do we want? What do we... Could I get the British to release India? Liberate? Can I... Can I seriously liberate India? Maybe not. Maybe not. I can. Oh my god. Return all states with cores to... Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Let's do that. Oh good, yes, 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 yes. And Italy. Oh, I'm going to break the hell out of Italy. You caused this war. I made this war started because I didn't want the Ottomans to give up territory or something like that. I forget why this war started. That's usually probably what everyone says at the beginning of every war. Like, why did this war start? What's the purpose of this war? I don't remember. Let's just have a good time anyways. Um, where else are we? Oh, we've, we've met the Germans. The Germans are here. Almost. We've almost met them. Oh. Oh, Spain. This was, this was a long time coming. Spanish Somaliland. Get the hell out of Africa. Three point. Yes. Yes. I hope uh, our allies have other things that they want to do as well down here. 
Good. We're smashing the hell out of them. Awesome. Uh, oh, yeah. We're going back down, down here. Great. Even in the middle of a war, we are now very, very prepared for any sort of communist uprising. So what did you learn in Victoria 2 today? I learned to keep a very strong army in the capital so we don't become communists randomly. And they are on the boats. Ship out. Great. Oh, they're attacking me again. What the heck? Oh, reactionary. Let's go. Let's get, let's get let's consciousness. Oh, the British boys. Oh, I'm dug in by level 44. And we have gas attack. Oh my god. 3,400 men were lost compared to the 52,000. That's insane. And I want to make at least one more demand, because this great war is... It's pretty great, not going to lie. It's pretty great. I'm going to send you guys back home, maybe. Did you, uh, come there, come there. Come back to Korea, you know. Oh, we got rebels popping out. That's not good. So I wish I had less infamy so I could take more stuff. We still, we're still making 10,000 pounds a day. Oh. Alright, we found some more of these guys. That's great. I shall strong are these guys. Let's get that done first. Oh my... Yeah, I'm I'm kind of holding out so that everyone else takes more stuff. Wait. Acquire Provence. France demands us from Italy. Yeah. Maybe we can do that. Maybe we can't. I don't know. But Russia's dead. Wait, Russian Empire declared... Wait, Italy, who are you going to go? Austria is trying to kill off the Italians. Good. Throw them in the war. Throw them in the war. Hey, look, some British boys. Go ahead and dig in there. 1918. The countries are exhausted, except for Japan. Japan is not exhausted. Japan still has a ton of fight in us. Okay, he's gone bankrupt. Actually, what's our... We have no war exhaustion. None. Siam is not looking good, though. Alright guys, diplomatic influence, cool. Grab some investment banks. Uh, lower militancy, stuff like that, cool. Come here, don't forget about Africa either. Consciousness, do that. I think we have probably less cons more conservatives than there are liberals, so, you know, take the least hit, the smallest hit possible. You know, whatever. You guys looking good? Looking good? over here. Yeah, France is a battlefield. Demonstrations turn sour. Socialism or reactionary? Let's go with reactionary. Oh, the army are returning from Russia. Russia has been completely just murdered. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. Alright, let's get some Korean boys back home. Wow, we still have some boys over here too. Whatever. The mud. Just keep watching, observing. The Germans have definitely showed. Oh my God! Look at Italy. Look at this. This is a mess. I love it. Oh, we can demand one more thing. What do we want to demand? Uh, we want to release India. That might not happen though, which makes sense, of course. Let you guys come over here. Come on, guys. Demand more stuff, please. Can I? Let's see. So, the leader of the war is Italy. They would not accept this? They don't want India to be lost. I want India. Hmm. We need more armies for this, then. Let you guys put those boys off. That's fine. This is going to ruin the economy for millions of people. And I love it. Good. Good. What's going on over here? Good. Over there. Oh! If we can maybe get in there quick enough, we might be able to do that. Good. Oh, France is becoming more and more free. Italy's dying. Airplane factories. What do we need for airplane factories? Hokkaido. What do we need for airplane factories? Automobiles? Just throw it on there. Why not? Airplanes? Sure. Women Property Act? Uh, stock market report? Kanto. Where's Pyongyang? I already built it up as much as we can with more explosives. Okay, Sarawan. Uh, sure, why not? $40 million. 
so far, still. So. Oh, and we want another navy. Cool. Good. You guys are here. Come on down. Form, so sure. All right, they're moving in. We're moving in as well. Good to bait them in. And oh boy, we are on defense. Do we have gas attack? We do have gas attack. Good, let them in. They are dying by the literal thousands. Two thousand, a thousand, twenty-five hundred. Watch, observe, do nothing. Send you guys down here immediately. Hmm, secret ballots. All allowed. We'll do all allowed. Why not? And before we're done here, I do want to take probably British Malaya. Unless we can get Western New Guinea. Probably British Malaya. Quiet place in the sun. British Malaya, please. Uh, more prestige. Conserve this game. More militancy. Let's just lose a little bit of prestige because we're going to get a lot of prestige from this. There. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Um, I really don't like that Canary Nation. Ooh, can I get some less infamy here now? I'm over the limit, which is really not good. So did we win that? I think we won that battle. Nice. Uh, I think the Great War is pretty much over at this point. Let's see what happens. Let's peace out. All right, Italy. Actually, can I get anything else? No. They would still not accept this. It's uh. Let's see what happens. More tax efficiency is always good. I really don't like going over the infamy limit. And it'll be barely going down. I think I'm going to disorder, perhaps. Defend. Or actually, come there. Oh, don't come there. You kind of hang out first. Yeah, you guys come here. Just need a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. New Zealand's, New Zealand's gone bankrupt. Cool. We're going to take these areas. Continue blockading them here. What else? What else? Ooh, there's a British army there. Beat them in Benghazi, maybe. I'm really waiting for Italy to get beaten up and the liberation of France. Stock market. Uh, do that. Okay, so this is a peace deal. Acquire Provence. For France, is going to get Provence. India acquires all states with core provinces, acquires Spanish Somalia land, acquires British Malay, acquires Litvua, acquires British Ostenover, five great war... This is epic. Awesome. Oh my god, we just made... <laughs> we made the British release India. That's so good. I wonder if there's an event for all these other nations to join India. That is amazing. They're a primitive nation. Oh my god. That's that's amazing. That's just amazing. And we got Somalia land back. Nice. Or back. We never had it in the first place, but oh my god, that was one hell of a war. Jesus, that's amazing. Now the Russians are pieced out. They have literally no military score. Germany has they're, they're they've been hit hard. They're literally socialist now with the fifth in the world. The French have fifty. The UK still has a lot of fight in them, which is fine. Spain is fourth. That really hurt my allies, actually quite a bit. Italy's still trying to fight off the Austrians who still don't have as much score. And, yeah, not bad. We are literally second in the world for prestige. God, that was... I hope OBS did not crash this time, because that was amazing. I didn't take anything off of Russia here, which is really disappointing. But this is my crown jewel now. We released India from the UK. That's awesome. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow as we try to lower our infamy limit. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.